127 here, guys, with a pickups video. Got a lot of cool stuff. Got some, a lot of gaming stuff, some comic book items, and a lot of good movies. So, here we go. Uh, we'll start with the um, gaming, I guess. Uh, first, we got... This is kind of gaming related. A Captain Power complete in box. It's never even been open, guys. It's uh, the ship. And it's really Phantom Striker. And it's I used to play this when I was a kid. It was a VHS tape you put in the a VHS player and you watch it on TV and it has light sensors and everything. And if you got hit, your guy would pop out. And uh, you could shoot stuff and blow up stuff on TV. So it was really cool. Glad to have this in the collection. Brings back so many memories. Next, uh, my buddy Dave hooked me up with a box for my Nintendo 64. Uh, so now I have a boxed N64 back in the collection. And I'm so stoked about that, guys. I uh, My collection is really rebuilding quickly so I'm very thrilled. Next I got this Nintendo 64 game holder. I've never seen any of these in the wild. I've seen them on your guys uh, videos but I'm really glad to get one for myself finally. Then I picked up these each for a dollar guys. I got 1942, Jack Nicholas Golf, Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, Tecmo Bowl, Gretzky Hockey, Jordan vs. Bird, and Slalom. All those NES games a dollar a piece. Next I got these Super NES games and these guys were each $2.99. You got Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures, Sealed. It's never been opened. Super Godzilla. Frogger. Super Pinball, Turtles 4, Turtles in Time, really glad to get that back in my collection. Super Star Wars, uh, this one's a double and is up for trade. Super Empire Strikes Back, and Sim City. For 99 cents, I got the official Parasite Eve strategy guide. And then these were each $2.99, guys. I got G Police Weapons of Justice for the PS1. These two I'm really stoked about getting. And for $2.99, Clock Tower and Mint Condition, guys. Not a scratch on the discs. And Silent Hill. Black label. So you can't beat those prices, guys. Next, we'll go with my comic book stuff. I got a Wonder Woman uh, picture, and this was only a dollar. And then for a dollar ninety nine, I got the DC Comics Encyclopedia hardcover. Awesome, awesome book. I'll show you some of the artwork. For a dollar ninety-nine. I don't know what the regular asking price on it is, but uh, that was insane. Fit uh, forty dollars, guys, is the regular price for this, and I got it for a dollar ninety-nine. All of these things are from the Goodwill, by the way, other than what my friend gave me. Next, my uh, movie pickups. First on VHS, we got Space Camp. Loved this movie as a kid. I'm glad to be able to watch it again. It's not on Blu-ray, so I figured for 99 cents, let me get the VHS. 
For $3.99, I got Grey's Anatomy Season 1 sealed. Grey's Anatomy Season 2 sealed. And Grey's Anatomy Season 3. I'm a big fan of the show, so I'm happy to get those. Now for my Blu-rays, I got the Marvel Avengers Steelbook. Uh, the movie's not released yet, but you were able at Best Buy for $7.50 to pick up the Steelbook copy and reserve it. So when I get my 3D version, I have the case for it. I picked up Snow White and the Huntsman, uh, the Steelbook edition. Uh, really glad to have this in my collection. Great movie, guys. Check it out. Glad to have it. And Titanic, the 3D edition. Uh, I've always liked this movie and enjoyed it. I love 3D, so I can't wait to put this in and watch it and check out how they did 3D. And the last one, which I'm super stoked to have picked up, is The Walking Dead, the complete season 2 zombie head edition. That's the box, guys. I got this at FYE. I traded in a bunch of old DVDs that I had, uh, doubles of, because I had rebought them on Blu-ray. So basically, I got that for nothing. So, uh, guys, hope you enjoyed these pickups. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Hacker727 out. Peace!